Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. The departure of Layla Kavanaugh and Ella Forster from Emmerdale has been figured out by a fan. After 16 years, Roxy, 41, was reportedly departing the ITV soap opera in October. The character, who arrived back in 2008, is the mother of Liam Kavanaugh's ex-wife and Jacob Gallagher. Paula, 38, is also expected to leave the serial. Currently appearing as series regular Ella in Emmerdale ITV filming until February 2025 is a brief description found on her acting spotlight profile. This would imply that her last scenes, which would feature Ella exacting retribution on Layla, would air in the months that followed. There was a sense of mystery around Ella's introduction, and no one was able to correctly guess what she was concealing. When they started working together at the GP clinic, she and Liam clicked, but their relationship was ruined when her secret was made public. In a care facility, she would frequently see a woman named June, who happened to be the mother of a girl Ella had murdered as a young girl. She was eventually embraced by the locals when her past was made public. She had previously been evicted from multiple homes, so this was a rare occurrence for her. Liam is currently in a romantic relationship with Chaz Dingle. At first, the two decide to keep their connection private in order to protect Ella from harm. Now that Roxy and Paula are both departing, a fan has posted a speculative and deadly social media post, and they might be right. Why does Ella think she has such a right to Liam? In the first place, he wasn't very into her, and Mandy's support of her is just encouraging her views. In the dark, I think she might try to kill Chaz but end up killing Layla instead. The village will regret accepting Ella, in my opinion. It would be believable for Ella to go back to her evil past, and it would surely result in a more tangible conclusion for the heroine who fought to establish Emmerdale as her eternal home. In addition, it would give Chaz a delicious plot to savor after the Dingles had been lauded for 30 years. After nearly 20 years in the rural drama, Layla's departure would be a memorable one. With only four years after his daughter Liana was killed by another murderer, Mina Jutla, Liam's feelings will surely resurface. Tina Dingle's obsession with her position as a wealthy widower may be a sign of her evil intentions toward her son Vinnie Dingle. Actor Bradley Johnson's character Vinny, a regular on Emmerdale, was devastated after his wife Liv Flaherty died. However, the junk dealer received a substantial windfall following her untimely death, which he almost gambled away. Tina Dingle, newcomer Samantha Power, came to the village of the same name, just in time for Zach Dingle's heartfelt funeral, giving Vinny and the rest of the Dingle clan the shock of their lives in recent episodes of the ITV soap opera. Tina was seen talking to her brother Sam Dingle, James Hooten, by her father's tomb during this Thursday's, November 7, 2024, journey to the Dales. However, in other moments, tensions increased during a second conversation with Lisa Riley's character, Mandy Dingle. Vinny's biological mother, Tina, is a hidden beautician who Mandy has been trying desperately to hide. However, Tina has also shown interest in his fortune. What prevented you from informing me that our Vinny was a widower? During their fight, Tina famously questioned Mandy, a rich one, at that. Tina responded, I promised not to tell him that he's my son, raising the prospect that she might defraud Vinny of all his money when Mandy reminded her that she had vowed not to speak to him. To exacerbate the situation, she attempted to recruit Mandy's assistance. Help me get a for sale sign put up outside that house and I might just lose interest altogether, Tina finally said, giving her a terrifying ultimatum. Will Mandy, however, agree to it? As one commenter on X put it, Tina can F off under the rock she crawled out from after all that time now trying to come for Vinny when Mandy's been his mother all this time she can't just rock up after all that time and now play the loving mother card. Fans of the long-running show have not been happy about Tina's return to Emmerdale. Recently, another soap opera fan voiced their displeasure, why is Mandy concerned if Tina informs Vinny? A third suggested Kane Dingle, Jeff Hordley, step in and resolve the issue on his own, saying, he is an adult, he is hardly going to sod off with Tina is he. Mandy needs to tell Vinny truth then tell Kane what Tina wants. After months of abuse, Belle Dingle, Eden Taylor Draper, has the guts to call the police and denounce her husband Tom King, James Chase, giving the Dingles another foe to contend with. However, someone close to him might have realized his actual nature while the disgusting veterinarian keeps disparaging her. 
Jack Delons, who has been writing scripts for Emmerdale since 2023, has left the ITV soap opera after developing a number of dramatic plotlines. Since then, he has switched to the rival soap opera EastEnders, which marks his third position on the editing team for a continuing drama. What is Jack Delon's identity at Emmerdale, and what has caused him to leave the show? In Emmerdale, who is Jack Delon's? Emmerdale scriptwriter Jack Delon's began working on the show in 2023. In a farewell blog post to Emmerdale, Jack disclosed that he joined the show during the height of Patty Kirk's mental health plot, which saw the adored character consider suicide. In addition, he was a part of the tumultuous romance between Charity Dingle, her husband Mackenzie Boyd, and the mother of his child Chloe Harris. When it was discovered that Caleb Milligan was the hidden son of Kim Tate's late husband Frank Tate, he plotted to steal home farm from her. He shared the other storylines he worked on while he was in Emmerdale, I got to write Vanessa's return and the subsequent love triangle between her Mary and Susie, Charles and Manpreet's engagement, Marlon and Rona's struggles with baby Ivy, early tests in Don and Billy's relationship as new parents, and Maddie and Amy's rocky road to marriage, the soap's first trans wedding. According to his blog entry from April 29, 2024, Jack left Emmerdale to work for EastEnders, where he has been for more than four months. In the article, he disclosed that the week prior, his Emmerdale final credits had rolled. Jack also talked about his experience working for Emmerdale and the practical skills he acquired in the hectic setting, it was a journey. On the first day, they struggled to compose a six-episode storyline, and by the end of the day, they had 60 scenes to polish. I gained knowledge about how to write quickly, who to pitch to, what roles storyliners had in promoting dialogue during conferences and talkthroughs, and what beats I needed to hit in order to satisfy my producer. Additionally, I gained confidence in my ability to tell stories and made some wonderful friends. From a personal development point of view, it was one of the toughest jobs I've ever done but in leaving, one of the most rewarding, he continued, expressing gratitude for his job position on the serial opera and wishing the team the best of luck in the future. The toolkit of skills and workflow techniques I was given at Emmerdale made my move to EastEnders easier. Even though we are now competitors in terms of ratings and next month's BAFTAs, I wish the team there the best of luck and hope that there are many more crazy and chaotic moments on the farm. Emmerdale exclusive, Tina Dingle's sinister scheme to target Vinny unfolds, is she the villain the Dales didn't see coming? Tensions are rising in Emmerdale, and this time it's Tina Dingle, back with a vengeance, who's shaking things up. The long-lost member of the Dingle clan has made a dramatic reappearance at the worst possible time, and fans are questioning her true intentions. Is she here for family reconciliation, or is there a darker, greed-driven plot at play? Here's an in-depth look into this explosive storyline that has everyone talking. Tina's Return, A Funeral, Secrets, and Shocking Revelations Tina Dingle, Samantha Power, made her shocking return during Zach Dingle's emotional funeral, immediately setting the tone for her motives. In scenes filled with nostalgia and tension, Tina's brief moments of reflection at her father's grave soon gave way to heated exchanges with her family, most notably Mandy Dingle, Lisa Riley. The secret Mandy has desperately tried to keep hidden for years is now at risk, Tina is Vinnie Dingle's biological mother. But Tina's sudden interest in Vinny isn't maternal, it's mercenary. Her probing questions about his financial status following his wife Liv Flaherty's tragic death have sent alarm bells ringing for viewers. A rich widower. During a confrontation with Mandy, Tina didn't hold back. Why didn't you tell me our Vinny was a widower? A rich one, at that? Her calculated interest in Vinny's windfall hints at her ulterior motives. Could Tina be planning to exploit her son's grief to line her own pockets? Mandy's ultimatum, protecting Vinny at any cost. For Mandy, the stakes couldn't be higher. Mandy has been Vinny's true mother figure, raising him with love and loyalty. But Tina's arrival threatens to shatter their bond, and Mandy is being backed into a corner. Tina's chilling ultimatum, help her push Vinny into selling his house or face the fallout, has left Mandy grappling with a nearly impossible decision. Should she reveal the truth to Vinny, risking their relationship, or cave to Tina's demands to protect him from further harm? Fans on social media are divided, with some calling for Mandy to come clean. Tina can F off under the rock she crawled out from after all that time. Mandy needs to tell Vinny everything. Mandy has nothing to lose. Vinny isn't going to turn his back on her for Tina, is he?
Vinny, a grieving target. Vinny, Bradley Johnson, has been through unimaginable heartache since Liv's death. His grief made him vulnerable, nearly leading him to gamble away the financial windfall she left behind. Now, as Tina circles, Vinny may not even realize he's being played. Will Vinny see Tina's true colors before it's too late? Or will his desire for a family connection leave him blindsided by her schemes? Bell Dingle takes a stand. While the Dingles rally to protect Vinny, another storm brews in the background. Belle Dingle, Eden Taylor Draper, has finally reported her abusive husband, Tom King, James Chase, to the police. Tom's downfall? For months, Belle endured Tom's manipulative behavior. His charm masked a darker side, but Belle's courage to speak out could spell his downfall. However, Tom isn't going down without a fight, and he's already attempting to discredit Belle at every turn. A new twist emerges, someone close to Tom may have caught on to his abusive nature. Could an unexpected ally come forward to support Belle's claims, or will Tom's smear campaign succeed in tearing her down? Kane Dingle to the rescue? Fans are calling for Kane Dingle, Jeff Hordley, to step up. Known for his fierce loyalty and no-nonsense attitude, Kane could be the key to neutralizing Tina's scheming and protecting Vinny. One fan suggested. Mandy needs to tell Kane what Tina wants. He'll sort her out before she causes any more damage. Could Kane's intervention turn the tide against Tina, or will her cunning prove too much, even for him? What lies ahead for the Dingles? The Dingles are no strangers to drama, but this latest wave of turmoil could redefine their family dynamics forever. Vinny vs. Tina, will Vinny uncover Tina's plans before she drains him dry? Mandy's Dilemma can she keep her secret while shielding Vinny from harm? Belle's battle, will justice prevail in her fight against Tom? Emmerdale fans won't want to miss a second of the action as these gripping storylines reach their boiling point. Stay tuned for more exclusive updates, interviews with cast members, and behind-the-scenes scoops. Share your thoughts and theories in the comments below. What do you think Tina's next move will be? Keep watching! With shocking betrayals, high-stakes confrontations, and family loyalties tested, Emmerdale is delivering drama at an all-time high. Will the Dingles weather the storm, or is their unity about to crumble under the weight of Tina's return? Only time will tell. For the latest soap gossip, spoilers, and exclusive content, follow us here. Emmerdale scriptwriter Jack Delons quits for EastEnders, the dramatic story behind his exit and new role. In a shocking shakeup of British soapland, Emmerdale scriptwriter Jack Delons has left the ITV series, departing for rival soapy stenders. Having penned some of Emmerdale's most dramatic and memorable storylines since joining in 2023, Jack's exit has sent ripples through the fandom. But who is Jack Delons, why did he leave Emmerdale, and what does his move mean for the soap world? Who is Jack Delons? Jack Delons is a talented scriptwriter who joined Emmerdale at a critical moment in 2023. Hired amidst the emotionally charged Patty Kirk mental health storyline, where the beloved character contemplated suicide, Jack quickly proved his knack for delivering deeply affecting and nuanced narratives. Over his time on the soap, Jack became a pivotal force in shaping storylines that had fans glued to their screens. From the explosive Charity Dingle, Mackenzie Boyd, and Chloe Harris love triangle to Caleb Milligan's shocking attempt to wrest home farm from Kim Tate, Jack demonstrated an ability to craft intricate plots brimming with tension, betrayal, and emotional depth. Jack's goodbye to Emmerdale, a reflective farewell. In a heartfelt goodbye blog post, Jack reflected on his time at Emmerdale with pride and gratitude. He recounted his work on several major arcs. Vanessa Woodfield's return, sparking a love triangle between her, Mary Goskirk, and Susie Merton. The emotional journey of Charles Anderson and Manpreet Sharma leading to their engagement. Marlon Dingle and Rona Goskirk's struggles as new parents to baby Ivy. The first-ever trans wedding in soap history, depicting Maddie Barton and Amy Wyatt's rocky road to marriage. The early challenges faced by Don Taylor and Billy Fletcher as adoptive parents. Jack's final Emmerdale scripts aired in April 2024, marking the end of an era for the show. Why did Jack Delons leave Emmerdale? While Jack's departure might seem sudden, it was motivated by his ambition to broaden his horizons.
According to his blog, Jack saw the move to EastEnders as an opportunity to further his craft while bringing his unique storytelling skills to a new audience. It was a journey, Jack wrote of his time at Emmerdale. From struggling to write a six-episode arc on day one to polishing 60 scenes by the end of the day towards the end. The high-pressure environment of Emmerdale helped Jack hone his skills in speed writing, pitching story ideas, and navigating the collaborative dynamics of a soap's editorial team. These experiences prepared him for his current role on EastEnders. Jack also expressed gratitude for the friendships he forged at Emmerdale. From a personal development point of view, it was one of the toughest jobs I've ever done but in leaving, one of the most rewarding. What's next for Jack Delons at EastEnders? Now firmly entrenched in the EastEnders writing team, Jack has been working behind the scenes for over four months. While specific storylines under his direction have yet to air, fans are eagerly awaiting his contributions to Albert Square. With Jack's proven ability to craft compelling narratives, fans of EastEnders are hoping for new layers of complexity and intrigue in upcoming episodes. What does Jack's departure mean for Emmerdale? Jack's exit leaves big shoes to fill at Emmerdale. His work has left a lasting impact on the soap, with groundbreaking moments like the trans wedding storyline setting a high bar for inclusivity and representation. While the soap's writing team remains strong, Jack's departure could mark a shift in tone or storytelling style. However, his parting words reflected nothing but goodwill toward his former colleagues. I only wish the team well and hope there are many more moments of madness and mayhem down on Tea Farm. Soap Rivalries, The BAFTA Showdown Adding fuel to the fire of Jack's departure is the brewing rivalry between Emmerdale and EastEnders as they go head-to-head -head at next month's BAFTAs. While both shows have enjoyed critical acclaim and dedicated fan bases, the competition for accolades has never been fiercer. Jack's move to EastEnders intensifies the drama off-screen, as his writing may now help tip the scales in favor of the BBC soap. Jack Delon's A Rising Star in Soapland Jack Delon's journey from Emmerdale to EastEnders showcases the grit, talent, and adaptability required to thrive in the high-stakes world of soap operas. His storytelling prowess has already left an indelible mark on one of the UK's most beloved shows, and his new chapter at EastEnders promises to be just as thrilling. As fans wait to see how his new role unfolds, one thing is certain, Jack Delon's is a name to watch in the world of continued drama. Stay tuned for more updates on your favorite soaps and the creative masterminds behind them. What do you think about Jack's move to EastEnders? Will his work elevate the show to new heights, or will Emmerdale manage to outshine its rival? Share your thoughts below! 3. Will Ross be forced out of Emmerdale? The fallout from April's kidnapping reverberates throughout the village. Marlon Dingle, Charity, and Caleb are united in their fury over the danger Ross has brought to their doorstep. Together, they confront Ross, demanding accountability. As tensions rise, the trio makes a pact to ensure Ross disappears from the village for good. Facing mounting pressure and guilt, Ross must decide whether to stay and fight or leave to protect those he loves. 4. Eric and Brenda's World Falls Apart In a parallel storyline, Eric Pollard and Brenda Walker's dreams of a perfect wedding spiral into chaos as Eric's financial gambles backfire spectacularly. Caught up in wedding planning, Eric's impulsive investment in a cryptocurrency scheme wipes out his savings. Desperate to recover, he secretly drains Brenda's account and takes out a loan against their property. When Brenda discovers her bank balance is empty, she confronts Eric, who tries to cover his tracks with weak excuses. The truth comes to light when Liam Cavanaugh catches Eric placing a bet at the shop. Brenda's devastation deepens as she questions whether Eric's actions, and even his proposal, were influenced by his Parkinson's medication. With their finances in ruin and trust shattered, can Eric and Brenda rebuild their relationship? 5. Ruby's Struggles, Forgiveness and Family Drama Ruby Fox Milligan faces her own emotional turmoil as she grapples with the return of her estranged father, Anthony, who claims to have been diagnosed with prostate cancer. Ruby's skepticism clashes with her daughter Steph's plea for family reconciliation. Despite initial attempts to mend fences, Ruby's unresolved anger drives her to distance herself once more. Anthony's suggestion that Steph leave the village to care for him forces Ruby and Caleb to confront the possibility of losing their daughter again. Will Ruby find it in her heart to forgive, or will the family be torn apart forever? 
6. Kane's Guilt, A Secret Affair Unravels Kane Dingle is tormented by guilt over his impulsive one-night stand with Ruby while Moira was undergoing brain surgery. Unable to face the uncertainty of Moira's condition, Kane sought solace in the garage, where an argument with Ruby escalated into a moment of passion. Now, with Moira back home recovering, Kane's conscience is eating away at him. Ruby shares Kane's determination to keep the affair a secret, but will the truth eventually come out? And if it does, how will Moira react to the ultimate betrayal?